I came from a church where I was told, when I would talk about my love life, the pastor would say to me, why would God give me a man of God? So when I came here, I actually came for my love life and because it was destroyed. But, and I came to the services every Saturday for some 13, 14 years. I didn't miss one service. If I was at a wedding, if I was at a family reunion, anything, I would make sure I was here. But I didn't meet anyone. I didn't, you know, and through various things that happened, I stopped coming. And then I started coming again, then I stopped. And then you came to Stratford and said to me, and spoke to me, and I was resistant. Mm -hmm. And then you came back the Sunday, mm -hmm. and you gave your talk about love life. And I said, oh, Holy Spirit, I don't want to go. But um, I went, I came. And when I came, God was speaking to me. God was speaking to me so much, and I realized that I'd lost my trust. Mm -hmm. Not only had I lost my trust in God, I'd lost my trust in a man of God as well. So that's why I was so resistant. And God just spoke to me, and I also realized that I'd, I'd really given up on my love life. I had actually given up. I didn't realize I'd given up, but I'd given up on my love life. I'd given up on many things. And since I've, I've only been coming for one month now, <laughs> but I feel really that God is in total control now. And I'm starting to believe that God is really going to bless me Amen. with a man of God. Of course, you will. Amen. <laughs> so Keep it up. Don't stop. How are you? And then, anything different from what they already know? Yeah. Um, the last two months that I've been here, um, I realized that I was an emotional wreck within regards to my, our marriage. And I was pushing all of that on top of him, on top of my husband, which was, it must have been a weight to carry. Mm -hmm. But being here, I realized that all that emotion, I had to change everything. So I had to look deep in myself, and an awful lot of it was painful. But using rational faith, I've had a transformation. He now talks to me a lot mm -hmm. about personal things, you know, things that he sees, things that he knows. And it is so, it's just the best. So you see, you can't get a man to speak to you, isn't it? You can't <laughs> can get through to him. You just yeah. need to know how. Some, some wives, some women, they say, no, it, my husband, it's too stubborn. He doesn't talk too proud. No, but there is a way to get through them. And because you learned intelligent love, look what is happening. And I love him so much. I know you do. Oh. Maybe he's going to be here one day very soon. <laughs> Amen. He will. He will. He will.